Okay, so this is showing you how to set up your AABA song and get the project ready to go. So first of all, you start, so uh, create a new project, choose empty project, and you're gonna wanna open up this details tab and decide what tempo you want your piece to be. I'm gonna set it at 140 beats a minute. You can also tap the tempo in to get um, whatever tempo you've got in mind. But I'm gonna go 140. And you can also change your key signature. So I'm going to, um, by default, it's gonna be set to C major. I'm gonna change it to E major. Leave the time signature alone because you want that to be um, on 4-4 so that you can use the built-in loops. And for audio input, yours should say system setting. Audio output, it should say system setting. And that should get it to work through your Avid Fast Track box. Uh, for me, I've got it set to built-in output so that we can hear it. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that and it'll get me started. So here's my um, first screen. The first track, I may as well just set it up as a um, audio track. So I'm gonna do that. And the only reason for that is that I'm then gonna be able to um, import, import things from the loop browser. All right, so my first job is to try to come up with an A section, an eight bar section that I'm going to really um, be happy with. So I'm gonna show my loops over here in the top right. You can put loops in any way that you like. You can record them on the keyboard. You can um, record using a microphone, do anything. I'm just gonna use the inbuilt ones to give us an idea. Now I'm gonna just um, kind of, I'll move myself across here. I'll just um, choose a couple of basic things. So I'll go with 70s rock piano. And I'll just tap on that to, um, to preview it. Perfect. I'll drag that in. Because I created a mic track, I can actually drag it directly into that. And I'm going to choose one other um, one other loop to go with that. Now I'm just noticing I've chosen something that says 70s, so I'm going to search for 70s and just see if there's anything else that's designed to go with that. So we've got 70s rock piano, 70s electric piano. So not really. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do instead is I'll just drag in a couple of these 70s rock piano 18. I'll put that in my second half of my piano track. And then I'm going to add a drum beat. We'll reset that. I'll go to all drums and we'll choose maybe something that's rock or something like that. Steady rocking break. All right, I like that. Cool, and one more, I'll get a bass of some kind. So let's have a look. Across the Liffy bass, I think that's gonna fit with it. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is create an eight bar section. So that means to the end of bar eight, not to the start of it. So if I had a section this long, even though it says, even though I'm going up to eight, that's only seven bars long if I count those boxes across seven bars. So I need to be eight bars long, exactly. I'm gonna loop those two sections so that they are exactly eight bars long. And I've now got my A section right there. That's fine. So now that's going to be something that takes you quite a long time to get your A section exactly how you like it. Once you've got that organized, what you want to do is start creating your arrangement. And we're going to create two different sections. So we're going to go up to the track menu and we're going to show the arrangement track. And within that, I'm going to then click plus to create an, a an arrangement marker. Now I'm trying to follow the form AABA. So rather than calling it intro, I'm gonna call it A. All right, good. And now next I'm gonna create a B section. So I'm going to again hit plus. That'll put it straight after that A section. I'm going to rename that to be B. 
So now I've got two sections to work with. Next thing that I need to do is I need to um, create a different contrasting B section, use some different loops, do some different things, but probably still connected. Um, I'm going to use the idea of having um, a, a single track for a single type of instrument. So I'm going to look first of all for a different piano sound. I'm going to just search for 70s again. Okay, so I just took a bit of time off mic and made a um, made a B section here. So I chose a rock piano sound to go with my rock piano from the A section. A different drum beat as well. A little fill at the end. Cheesy, that's okay, and a different bass part as well. I chose a funky, funky bass fill and trimmed it to fit with what I had going on. And put the three together, and we get this. All right, cool. So I would like you guys, obviously, to spend a lot more time than that on getting your A and your B section exactly how you like them. But that's the basics. You want to get as many instruments as you like, whatever recording style you like, whatever, however you want to get it in, but get two really good sections. And now what we want to do is we want to create a structure. So to do this, we use our arrangement track. And the key trick is hold down Option on your keyboard, and whatever you click and drag on, it'll be copied and pasted automatically. I used that already um, to create the bass part here. I created the first bit, and then I just Option, click, drag, and it copies and pastes it to wherever I need it to go. So I can do that with sections as well. Once my A is all set up and how I like it, Option, click, drag. Notice I drag it just out in front of the A but behind the B, and it creates a new section. I'll now zoom out, go to my zoom control here. I'm going to put another A section at the end. So Option, click, drag, and we've got our structure. Okay, so now I've got my basic AABA in place, but I still need to make that into a complete piece. So I'm going to do um, two things. I'm going to create an introduction here and an ending over here. I've already got my contrast in the middle. So I'm going to have those instruments gradually come in. The piano is kind of the theme of the piece, so that we can start with the piano. We're going to have the bass come in after four bars. So I'll shorten that in the first A and have it come in four bars later. And the drums can come in at the second day. I'll leave that until then. Just for a bit of consistency, I'll actually copy that fill that I've got at the end of B across to lead the drums in as well. Okay, so that's the introduction part done. You can see it sort of gradually fades in. Then I'm going to add a fade out. I could do that in lots of ways, but I'm going to do that by um, just adding a fade out to the track. So I'm going to go up to the mix menu. I'm going to click on fade out. That shows the master track and adds an automated fade out across that section. I'm going to turn automation off so that I can still easily work with um, easy work with all these tracks. All right, so I'm pretty much there now. The only thing I need to do here is add some transposition, add a different key at the B section. And because of the way I've set it up, I'm actually going to not only that, but I'm going to make it change key every two bars. So it's going to be a new key here. <laughs> Another one here, and so on. So to do that, I go up to the track menu, show transposition track this time, before we did arrangement track, now transposition track, and that shows this yellow line here. Because of the way I've set it up, I've already got each of these sections separated out, and if I wanted to, I could transpose any of, the, any of those sections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the B section. I'm going to go in and add some edit points, one every two bars, so that I can move each of those sections individually. And then I'm going to just start playing around. I know that I want to go from E up to A. So that's one, two, three, four, five semitones up. So I'm going to do, going to do that. And then I'm just going to follow a pattern. Um, I'm going to do something at random. I'm going to go down three semitones each time. So instead of plus five, plus two then minus one, then minus four. I'm just going to see how that sounds. So here we go.
Cool. Okay. So interesting. Not exactly what I would um, probably end up going with. I'd adjust that a bit, I think. But look, that's the basic idea. So we've, we can you can see that we're ending up with these key elements. We've got the arrangement track shown. We've got AA, BA as our structure. We've got transposition track shown. We've got transposition happening at the B section and not so much at the A section. Um, you might like to play around with that a bit, but the focus for your changing key should be at the B section. I've got two different sections, A and B. I've got an opening to the piece and an ending to the piece, my fade out. And this is what the opening to the piece sounds like. All right, so that's the um, that's the task. And remember, the big thing is these A, this A and B section, you're going to spend a lot of your time making those sound as good as you possibly can in whatever your chosen style is. All right, here we go. Okay, and that's the overview for the task. Good luck.